Welcome to another lesson on navigating Microsoft Word with NVDA by the Knowledge Chest. Today we're going to first cover Protected View. Before we start, I just want to point out that Word may react differently to what you would expect when you practice these steps that I'm going to outline below. If that happens, it is because the different versions of Office cause Word to behave differently, but it should not be so different that this guide is entirely impossible to follow. If you find that you struggle in any of these lessons, please feel free to email me or leave a comment in the comment section. So let's start with protected view. When a document is downloaded from the internet or an email attachment and opened in Word, it automatically opens in protected view to prevent any malicious code from running. Protected view is similar to read mode but does not allow editing. To read the document using NVDA, press NVDA plus down arrow or NVDA plus A on a laptop. This step ensures the document is what you expected and is safe. If you trust the source, you can enable editing. Press F6 to move focus to the protected view grouping, then press the right arrow to the enable editing button and press enter. This will allow you to edit and save the document as normal. Now let's talk about advanced font formatting. Microsoft Word offers many text formatting options, some purely visual and some for conveying meaning. These options are accessible from the ribbon, with some having specific keystrokes like bold and italics. Pressing Ctrl plus D opens the font formatting dialog where the focus starts in the font name field. Use arrow keys to change the font or tab to navigate through other options. Word includes a variety of fonts. While the default font works for many tasks, others like script or calligraphy fonts mimic handwriting, and fonts like Wingdings and Webdings contain symbols instead of letters. It's helpful to Google unfamiliar fonts or ask someone to describe them before using them. Pressing NVDA plus F reads the current text's formatting information. Note that NVDA may not read every visual effect in Word. To have NVDA automatically announce formatting changes as you move through text, press NVDA plus Ctrl plus D to open NVDA's document formatting options. This command is similar to Word's font dialog command but includes the NVDA key. Here, you can set which formatting changes NVDA announces after the cursor. The last thing I want to talk about in this lesson is headings. Adding headings in Word is similar to using headings on web pages. Headings help identify the content and assist with navigation. Simply using bold text to create a headline distinguishes it visually but does not support navigation. Also, remember to turn off bold formatting after use. Word has several levels of headings, numbered with level 1 being the most prominent. Use these keystrokes to set heading levels. Heading level 1, Ctrl plus Alt plus 1. Heading level 2, Ctrl plus Alt plus 2. Heading level 3, Ctrl plus Alt plus 3. Headings can go down to level 9. To adjust heading levels beyond 3, press Alt plus Shift plus right arrow to lower the level and Alt plus Shift plus left arrow to raise the level. So, that's it for today. Please test all these steps out and I truly hope that your machines will behave themselves. Until next time.